What up, losers? You're about to win a game. Parks from Keymaster Games. Who's excited? Me. <laughs> In parks, players take on the role of hikers as they journey across the various trails and ranges of America's great wilderness. As they venture into new terrain, players gather tokens from the sites they visit and use those tokens to visit national parks, then score points. Parks is divided into four rounds, each representing a season of the year. The player with the most points at the end of the year wins the game. Set up. Begins with the game board placed center. Align the two token trays next to the board to create a very tidy supply. Shuffle the parks cards into a face down draw deck on the top right of the board. Draw and reveal the top three cards, placing them in the parks slots to the left. Shuffle the gear cards face down to form the gear deck on the bottom right. Reveal the top three gear cards and place them in the gear slots as well. Shuffle the canteen cards face down and deal one face up to each player. Place the canteen deck face down on the top left of the board. Shuffle the year deck and deal two cards to each player. These are personal secret objectives that provide two or three bonus points in the end game if the requirements are met, and you're gonna want those points, baby. Each player chooses one year card to keep and removes the other from the game. Shuffle the season deck and place it in the season area on the left. Reveal the top card, which will be the first of four seasons in the game. Next, create the trail by placing the trailhead site tile to the left of your play area. Separate the site tiles into basic and advanced. Advanced tiles have an asterisk on the bottom right. If you have more than three players in the game, include the waterfall site in the basic tiles. Otherwise, you don't need it. Get it out of here. Shuffle the advanced tiles and add just one of those advanced tiles to the basic tiles. And this is your trail deck for the season. Set aside the other three advanced tiles for now. Shuffle the trail deck and deal each of those tiles to the right of the trailhead site. Once all site tiles are placed, set the trail end to the right of the last site. The beginning goes at the beginning, the end at the end. Nature. Finally, assign two hikers of the same color to each player, placing them on the trailhead tile so they're eager and ready to go. Each player takes the matching campfire marker with the lit side up placed in front of them. Give the first hiker marker to the player who claims they most recently went for a hike. Hmm, sure. Give the camera to the player to the right of the first hiker. Now we're ready to go. It was a walk in the park, right? Gameplay occurs in four rounds, aka seasons, each divided into turns. At the beginning of a season, check the active season card and note its effects. Then identify the weather pattern on the bottom right of the card. Place the indicated tokens beginning with the second trail site in the pattern listed. This pattern is repeated up to the trail's end. Then, beginning with the player who has the first hiker marker, players take turns moving their hikers forward down the trail. On their turn, the active player selects one of their hikers and moves it to the right any number of spaces to a site of their choice, provided no other hikers, even their own, are currently on that space. They then perform the action listed on the site. And if any weather and pattern tokens are still in that space, they can take them into their personal supply. Let's take a look at the sites. Five of the basic sites, forest, mountain, valley, waterfall, and ocean, each allow the player to take a resource token or tokens matching the icon on the bottom. For instance, if a hiker lands on this valley, the player earns two sunshine tokens and takes the bonus weather pattern token for free. Keep in mind, players are limited to 12 tokens max, so don't hoard too much. Nobody likes a hoarder, except for my dad. The Vista site allows the player to make a choice. Either draw a canteen, adding it to their personal area face up, or they may exchange two tokens of any type to take a photo 
from the supply to gain ownership of the camera. Let's look at both of those mechanics. The canteens allow a player to exchange water tokens for other tokens or actions. By filling the canteen with a water token gained on that turn, they gain the bonus listed. A player may have multiple canteens, but only fill each one once per season. Photos are each worth one point at the end of the game. Having lots of photos can provide some great catch-up points. Also, when you're old, you can look back on them. If the active player is in possession of the camera when taking a photo, they only have to exchange one token instead of two. Additionally, they'll have an opportunity to take one more photo at the end of the season. Back to the sites, the advanced trail sites specifically. At the wildlife site, the player may exchange one token to gain a wildlife token. These tokens are wild. You get it? See what they did there? They can act as any other token type. However, they cannot be used as water to fill canteens nor towards buying gear. Speaking of gear, at the lookout, players can reserve or visit a park, we'll get to that one, or they can buy a gear card. Gear helps a hiker with extra benefits throughout the game. When landing on the lookout and choosing this option, the active player spends the cost listed in the top right of one of the three revealed gear cards, adding that card to their supply. All gear cards have ongoing benefits, and some have instant benefits as well, which a player gains immediately upon purchase. Strategy tip, get some gear early. The reserve or visit a park option gives the player another option, either reserve a park by choosing one of the three available park cards on the board, or drawing the top card of the park's deck and placing it face up horizontally in their personal supply. This park can now only be visited by that player. Visiting a park allows the player to pay the tokens listed to add one of the three park cards, or one in their reserve, vertically into their personal supply. Parks are the main way to earn points in the game, so visit them frequently. We're hikers, aren't we? Come on! The Lodge site allows a player to exchange two tokens to gain any other two tokens. Wildlife cannot be earned this way. The river allows the player to spend one water token to copy the action from another site occupied by another hiker. One dynamic option each player has, the campfire. If a hiker is already at a site a player wants to visit, they may visit that site by flipping their campfire to its extinguished side. Campfires can be relit each time one of their hikers reaches trail end. The trail end is the last place hikers visit before the end of the season. When placing a hiker here, the player chooses one of the available areas and sets their hiker vertically in the farthest right available slot. The reserve a park action we already talked about, but the first player to take this option also gains the first player marker. Any number of hikers may reserve a park at the trail end, but only the first player to take this action gets that first player marker. Buy gear is another option, and the rightmost spaces provide a one sun token discount on the gear purchase. The four plus slot can only be used in a game of four or more players. Finally, visit a park allows a player to exchange those tokens for parks. Once the player's two hikers reach the trail end, they are out of the round and pass on their subsequent turns. When only one hiker is left on the trail, they must move to the trail end and choose an action. Afterward, the season ends. A few things happen here and they are all outlined right on the board. First, the player with the camera may take a picture, hang the one token cost. Empty the canteens, returning all the water tokens to the general supply. Return all hikers to the trailhead. Take the trail sites and shuffle in one random advanced site, making the trail one site longer. Redeal the trail. Place the current season card on the bottom of the deck and reveal the next season. Apply the weather pattern and now you're ready to start that next round. The game ends at the conclusion of the fourth season after the camera owner gets one more photo opportunity. All players reveal their year cards at this time and score all points from parks, photos, and the personal bonus from their year card if achieved. 
the player with the first player marker also gains one bonus point. Then the player with the most points wins all bragging rights for the rest of the day. Tiebreakers. The player with the most parks visited wins in a tiebreaker. If it's still tied, the win is shared. And that's how to play parks. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure and like and subscribe. And if you want to see more like this, you can always head on over to our Patreon page to help support us. We appreciate you.